Welcome everyone. It's so good to have you to study God's word together. We will be studying from the life of Deborah, which is recorded for us in the book of Judges, chapters 4 and 5. We see a very important battle fought there led by Deborah. We read uh, in Judges 4 and verse 4. Now Deborah, a prophetess, the wife of Lapidoth was judging Israel at that time. We see a very interesting set of people step into this battle debra uh together with the commander barak hears from god that they need to step into a battle and she encourages barak and his army to go after the canaanite king jabin um barak fights a battle against a man called Sisera and it is the most intriguing battle the most important thing that we can make a note of here is the fact that people faced their enemy debra barak and the others arose and they took charge of their lives they were unwilling to let go of their land as well as the promises of god over their lives we see a sense of alertness on their behalf and for us today as we look at what god's word says we know that our battle is not against flesh and blood we're not talking about physical enemies but we have a spiritual enemy known as satan or the devil and we engage in a spiritual battle with spiritual weapons we must step up to this battle and not let the enemy destroy god's plans and purposes for our lives it's so wonderful to see that people actually fought for what belonged to them and today you and i need to step up and not give up on what god has handed to us and i just want to remind us that we are called to be alert and cautious i want to read for us from the message version of first peter chapter 5 and verse 8 it says keep a cool head stay alert the devil is poised to pounce and would like nothing better than to catch you napping so keep on keep your guard that's a very um simple way in which we've been told to stay alert how do we stay alert now jesus taught us to be in prayer prayer is one of the ways in which we can be watchful and so i want to encourage us let us be alert in prayer and the enemy will not be able to get us and also as we see people step into action here when we engage with the holy spirit god will put certain things in our hearts to do and as we are obedient to do those things and take action i'm sure that we will soon see our battles won we will soon see our enemy overcome so i want to encourage us the way people arose let us arise and let us take charge of our life and let us hold on to the blessings that god has given us we don't want to let any any enemy take it away from us can we pray together heavenly father we thank you for the cross thank you for the victory of the cross father we thank you for all the blessings that are yes and amen for us lord give us the grace and the wisdom lord to overcome our enemy father Lord we declare that we are victorious and the enemy is defeated in Jesus name we pray amen Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk please visit apcwo.org